This video is entitled The Effect of Foam on a Microphone. Why do we have foam on microphones? Well, it's to uh, reduce the blasts of breath, the pops, plosives they're called, hitting the diaphragm. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate the effect, not so much on the pops, but on the actual sound of the mic of having to have this somewhat intrusive thing on the microphone. I'm going to use some bits of video from the Shure SM7B review that I've just done, because Shure did say on their on their website that you could take the foam off if you wanted a more open sound. So I thought, oh, and I did that and put it on and off quickly, and I then did it on um, another microphone. So I'm going to use those bits of video in this, but I'm going to extend this somewhat by um, doing it right here on another microphone. Now the foam, as you know, is the Shure SM58. Most microphones, or a lot of them, have foam in the grill there. This one's also got some rather elderly foam just over the top of the diaphragm there to uh, reduce the pops. That's what it's about. Not every microphone does it that way. Sorry about that. Not every microphone does it that way. As you may know from other videos, this uh, Neumann KMS 105 doesn't use foam. It uses uh, a mesh in there, finer mesh. This is the outside one for protection. And then another mesh there, which you can remove if you watch my video, and then another mesh there. <laughs> and then some sort of grill underneath. And it works pretty well, and it is quite open sounding, but we'll, we'll see about the sounds in a moment. This, one of my favorite microphones, it's like a grown up one of these really, for perhaps for more expansive voices, doesn't use foam either. It uses, similar to the Neumann, where it's got a fine grill there, it's got an insert there which can come out like the Neumann's, that sleeve, and then it's got another one on the top there and a kind of biscuit of mesh in there too. So that the mesh ones try to do the same thing, they're trying to dissipate the blasts, and you know that the issue is that you're trying to dissipate the air, but your voice is air, so it's going to affect it. You're dissipating one, one way you're trying to stop it, and another way you're trying to let as much of it through unadulterated as possible. So that's, that's what's going on there. Now, of course, I've said before, and I'll put it at the end of this video if I remember, the best thing I think you can do is try and stop it at the source or reduce it at the source with your own technique and where you hold the mic. So I've, I've done it several times, but I bet it's worth doing again. I'll just stick it at the end. So those of you who have seen the other videos, you don't feel you have to uh, put up with it. So what am I going to do? Well, here and now, this one, I'm going to go on to it. Why not? Have I set things up? Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Yeah, a bit more of that in there. It's got a little bit of mascara. When I use this with the students at school, I use this, which is an inner foam from uh, SE V7, I believe. So, what I'm going to do is use this. I'm then going to use this, which is much thicker, as you can see. And then I'm going to remove this. I'm just thinking of the order I'm going to do it in now. So I think the order I'm going to do it in, and I'm going to cut the video so I go between me speaking um, between the very quickly because the ears get used to things, don't they? So let me see now. Um, I think we're going to have this and this on. Okay, here it is with the two lots of foam on. What's it like for the pops? What's it like for the pops? For the pops? For the pops? For the pops? With the two lots of foam. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. That still gets some thunder if you've got your headphones on. Okay, that's where you got it. Mm, what can you do? But the, the pops are very good with that. So I've got the two layers of foam there. I don't know if you can see. I've got the little uh, thin red one underneath and this quite chunky one on top. So I'm going to go back and forth between them and cut the video so you can hear. The effect of foam on a microphone. 
The effect of foam on a microphone. The effect of foam on a microphone. The effect of foam on a microphone. The effect of foam on a microphone. The effect of foam on a microphone. The effect of foam on a microphone. The effect of foam on a microphone. This is now just with the chunky one, without the red one. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Perhaps, yeah, just the pops increased just a little bit, so it's made a tiny bit of difference, I think, there. So let me go between this and as is. The effect of foam on a microphone. The effect of foam on a microphone. The effect of foam on a microphone. Whoops. The effect of foam on a microphone. 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 Okay, I'm going to put the red one on now, the thin one. This is the foam I use at the Brit School. Uh, Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Makes some difference. Who, 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 who. Has a little uh, effect on in terms of stopping the pops and so on. Because um, they're quite clumsy. So here we go. The effect of foam on a microphone. 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 So now I'm going to take this off. Got to be very careful, because there are going to be some blasts. So I'm going to keep it white to one side and be careful what I do. Don't get carried away, and um, see if that makes a difference. Here it is, as it comes. The effect of foam on a microphone. 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 The effect of foam. On a microphone. The effect of foam. On a microphone. The effect of foam. On a microphone. Now, I don't really want to say anything. I'm going to be very careful how I do it. Is it me or is it this area here that's just, uh, just, uh, with nothing there? Just, uh, this is with this. Uh, is it me or is it just that ever, ever so slight bit, um, obscured, even with this, which is quite fine. Um, there's no foam. Okay, what I'm going to do now is cut in on the video the examples that I had before with the other microphones with the foam on and off. And then at the end, I'm going to put once again my suggestions for reducing the pops. I'm on the S SM7B. I'm on the SM7B with the foam. I'm on the SM7B with the foam. I'm on the SM7B without 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 the foam. I'm on the SM7B with the foam. So I go straight from me speaking now with the foam off. Straight from me speaking now with the foam off. Straight from me speaking now with the foam off. To me speaking now with the foam on. To me speaking now with the foam on. So you can get an idea what the foam does. Okay, if you've made it this far. Once again, my suggestions for reducing the pops. One is that you use, if you like, traditional singing technique, which means that your air is controlled by the muscles of inspiration and expiration and exhalation, and um, not by the lips and the mouth here. So in other words, if I'm going to go, p -p 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 -p, you can hear that blast. So I say, Peter, Peter, I'm not going to do it on this because it's going to be thuds galore. Peter, 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 Peter. You can hear the p -p -p. I could do this and if I control it, Peter, 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 not Peter, 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 p, 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 but has to be some air. Peter, 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 same goes for and all that kind of stuff. If you're controlling it there, I mean, that's a bit of a nuisance in it because you need to go to do some practice and get some technique going. I know. No. Okay, some people, or maybe you're using mics with, you know, say, amateurs or non-mic users, you know, interviews and so on and so forth. Tell you what. Or 
It's not an example of it. The other thing then, as I've said before, people do say hold it down here. From my experience, find it, play with it for yourself. I found that the side is better. You don't want it here, obviously, you can hear what it does, it's not gonna pick it up on the voice, but it needs to be there. And ooh, we can get quite close. If I bring it here, there you heard one. Peter Piper, Peter Piper, I'm being very careful. Peter Piper, Peter Piper, Peter Piper, Peter Piper, Peter Piper. Can you hear? If you've got headphones on, you'll hear because it's quite low frequency. Just with me moving it like that, it was reduced considerably, noticeably, I'm sure I say. Peter Piper, 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 Peter Piper. So then for me, obviously you're going to get caught out, and I do, but generally speaking then, with the technique things of, of um, if you like, good traditional breathing for singing and with holding the mic at this side, then you can do what you like with Peter Piper, Pick the Pecker, Pickle Pepper, Tender Peter Piper, Pick the Pick the Pecker, Pickle Pepper, Peter Piper, Pick the Pecker, Pick the Pepper, Peter Piper, Pick the Pecker, Pick the Pepper, Peter Piper, Pick the Pepper, Peter Piper, and you only get caught out every now and then if you turn that way on, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, I've done a video on it. Well, I've just done it again, really, so you don't need to watch that. Those are my suggestions. Good luck, and I'll see you next time.